Hey everybody, what's good? Uh, as you can see, I've got a bit of a hoodie on because we know the hair situation, right? Um, so I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that this is the beginning of a new weekend vlog. Uh, I'm going to be vlogging this weekend and I'm also going to be um, filming sit-down content. Uh, so I just wanted to come on here and, you know open up the vlog and be like hey guys what's good what's up it is friday today friday the 12th of june and let me tell you it is so bitter cold today it is that mind piercing numbingly cold kind of cold you know what i mean like it's it's just it's really really bad right now i'm literally just parked on the couch and i'm reading a book i have just started reading i'm not sure by the time this go goes up if you'll have already seen the reading uh video but if not it's cool i'm currently reading a thriller and uh, I'm going to be reading it with a friend of mine and um, I just started it about 15 minutes ago. I'm 34 pages in so I just started reading it about 15 minutes ago and it is, it starts off with a bang. Like it's it's crazy. Uh, of course when I picked this book up I had already done a little bit of research by you know booktubers and people who read. Uh, I was looking for some thrillers and for some uh, dark content i'm more inclined to read dark content i don't even know why um but yeah some friends of mine uh and myself were starting like a little private book club kind of thing so that only starts at the um, end of this month beginning of july but in the meantime i want to read this throughout this month and uh possibly finish it it's really not that long it's about 342 pages so that's not bad um i'm going to read this for this afternoon have myself a cup of coffee started 15 minutes ago and then realized that i'm actually hungry so i actually uh warmed up some leftovers some brown rice and some meat and some vegetables um and then I'm just going to literally park on the couch for the rest of the afternoon and read. I did want to have a glass of red wine. And then I thought, mm, I'm trying to be in all my facets for this, more especially the beginning of this book. Um, and red wine is going to make me, you know, nice, mellow, even maybe tired as well because I slept really uncomfortably last night. So I don't want that right now. Um, so I just wanted to pop in, let you guys know I'm alive beginning of a new vlog for the weekend and I'll catch you guys on the flip side the reason why I'm sitting here right now is because I wanted to recommend one of my favorite um, recipe books which involves food making bowls it's just like bowls this is one of the books that i use more than any other book in the world in terms of my recipe books i use this one more than all of them and um so this is the one that i absolutely love this book is still probably even sold at uh the at-home store this is whole it's called whole food for balance can you see that that's what it looks like. It's a really, really, really great book if you're somebody who likes to eat out of bowls. I feel like I've spoken about this um, recipe book so many times. It's by Melissa Delport. Uh, I've made so many bowls from this book. And not only do I love this book for the recipes, but I love this book for the food photography as well. It's just freaking awesome. I mean, there's um, ways in which you can make hummus, different types of hummus. Uh, you can make bowls for breakfast, breakfast bowls. Um, one of the ones that I really, really enjoyed making some time ago was this one, which is the Evo hash bowl. So it's got hash browns in there and it's got... Um, what is it, Evo and egg, like two of my favorite, favorite, favorite ingredients, especially in bowls, whether it's for breakfast or whether it's for dinner time. Listen, I'm loving them. 
Um, one of my favorite ones is the one on the cover, which is this one, which I have made before. Uh, I forget what they call it in the book. It's called the Island Poke Bowl. So it's pretty much a salmon poke, salmon poke bowl. Um, and if you are a fan of bowls and you're pretty much a fan of salmon poke bowls, uh, Doppio Zero makes a mean salmon, salmon poke bowl with black rice. It's so delicious. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the picture that sold me to this um, recipe book and definitely one of my favorites. Favorites that you can hook up and get for yourself. So exciting! Let's add the flower food first. This is so exciting. I mean, man, I'm telling you, this is pretty much the best birthday, burst, the best birthday I've had in a really long time. And I think we can, we can hold up. Um. For use on, on fresh cut flowers, which these are fresh cut flowers. This is so, so cool. Oh, I need to send a message to say thank you. Oh, man, this is so cool. So pretty. Yay. Oh, they're going to be so pretty when they bloom. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at them. Oh, that's pretty. I cannot wait for them to bloom. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just, it's the day before Father's Day and I'm actually inviting my father over for lunch tomorrow. Any, anywho, because we always go to his place and I thought, nah, man, have him over. Um, I'm looking very basic, you know, tight. Very, very basic um, because today is really going to be a chill day. Uh, I just came back from Woolies to go buy things for Father's Day lunch tomorrow. So I sort of pre-guessed that he'll probably say yes because I was picking up some vegetables and all of that. Uh, so I can make Sunday lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. I'm very hungry. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, a completely different day. Lots to talk about. Uh, I've read three books since the last footage that you saw of me reading The Silent Patient. Uh, since then, I've read three more books, two other books. Um, and yeah, I just picked up some more books because it's, it's crazy. My reading is sort of like, I can't think of anything else to do but read. And that makes me happy. But start off a little bit of a grocery haul, oranges, because... Of course, it's that time, and the Woolies oranges are really, really nice. They're sweet. They're so, so good. Um, vegetable for tomorrow. This is, obviously, we know what this is. Uh, peppers. This is a green vegetable medley. Yeah, I really, really like that. Uh, another one of my favorite ones is the roasting vegetables. They should look like so. Put those. I think I got two of those. Um, uh, this is one of my favorite salads, so I picked this up for myself um, tonight. This is probably what I'll have with a piece of meat or something. This is the uh, smoky four bean salad from Woolies. It's absolutely delicious. I really, really, really love it. Picked up another salad, which is the sweet curry pasta salad. Really good. Um, green beans, because since lockdown, I've really been enjoying cooking with green beans. So, so weird, but I really, really enjoy cooking with it. With them, uh, I enjoy green beans, period, point blank. Juice and juice. My father is probably going to bring his own drinks tomorrow, so I just have orange juice and this fresh ruby grapefruit juice as... Um, just extras because I know my sister will be coming as well. I'm actually thinking of getting my sister to buy some drinks and come with some drinks, not alcoholic drinks, but just like juice and stuff. 
because yeah we eat and we drink quite a lot um Cara orange sweet potatoes i've showed you guys these before absolutely love them um tender stem oh i love these <laughs> i love them. tender stem broccoli this is for me this is not for tomorrow i've already got an idea about what i'm going to cook tomorrow nothing hectic sweet potato some vegetables uh meat and that is pretty much it that's all i'm cooking um so the tender stem that's all that's all me carrots 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 strawberries <laughs> uh picked up some pesto basil pesto this is gonna go with this so this is basil pesto as you can see from Woolies and this cheese is the cheddar with olives sun-dried tomatoes and mixed herbs also from Woolies really really nice looking cheese not only that I tasted it at my sister's place yesterday and I was just like what do you mean this is so delicious um, she put it on like a cracker with the cheese and the pesto and I was in <gasps> heaven heaven so I'm gonna have that maybe later on Maybe even later on today while I'm reading as a snack. Mm. Um, avocados because, yeah. Blueberries, yeah. Grapes, yeah. I've been away from the house for about three or four days. So I know that some of the stuff in my fridge is just, it's just like, bye, bye Felicia. So I need to get rid of a lot of things in my fridge um, because there were also power outages while I was gone. It's so unlike the area that I'm in. It's so, so weird. But there were power outages over those three days. So I really don't quite trust some of the stuff in my fridge. So I'm going to change that. Um, and lastly, a Greek salad, which I am going to have today. Possibly for dinner with a piece of meat and that smoky bacon salad, whatever, smoky four bean salad. I'm going to put these away and calm myself down, clean out my fridge and uh, I'll touch base with you guys a little bit later. I picked up some books again because, wow, picked up more books and we're going to talk about the whole reading thing later. But for now, let me just tidy up this stuff and eat something and then I'll touch base later. Okay, so kept it really, really basic. My first meal of the day, it's just a toasted sami. You could see with uh, some enterprise, some French bologna and um, cheese, coffee and some fruits. That's pretty much what I want to have now. I actually want to relax a little bit. I've been go, go, go all day. So the girl has been reading. Let me just take a moment, take a breather watch something really trashy on TV and then I'll come back and talk to you about some of the books that I've been reading and some of the ones that I picked up today. So really, really excited about this. I'm about to get into reading, but I wanted to do a little bit of a review. This is normally where I sit in this part of the house. I sit when I'm reading because the light comes in quite nicely and it's quite warm. It's, it's almost like a sunroom, this part of the house, and it gets really, really warm in here. And I often like to read in this space early afternoon around 1, 2 and I sit here on this couch and I wind down and it's a good time. It's a good time. Um, so this is where I'm going to end off this vlog because tomorrow is Father's Day and I want that to be a start of a new vlog uh, where I'll be preparing family lunch for my dad and my family members who are going to be coming through tomorrow. Um... So that'll be a, the beginning of another vlog. Uh, there's really too much content for this vlog. But I want to end it off by talking about two books that I read in the last two weeks. And I'm so proud of myself for reading them. 
um, I'm not going to get into too much detail in terms of um, you know detail about the book I'm just the books but I'm just going to tell you what I think of thought of them can't talk I'm just going to tell you what I thought of them and um, the books that I picked up from exclusive books now I still haven't found two of the ones that I want but I'll get them next week um, and one of them is here so the two books that I read <laughs> which this is one of them uh, the two that I read the first one I left at my sister's place so I'll show you a picture here uh, The Silent Patient by Alex Michelides brilliant if I could have started my reading journey with the perfect book that's going to make me want to read more, that is the book that I had to start with. The Silent Patient is incredible. It's such a great thriller. I find myself really getting more into thriller um, uh, fiction novels. I'm really, really into them. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it's just, yeah. Really, really great book that follows the life of an artist by the name of Alicia, who is convicted and sent to a mental institution for murdering her husband. But the catch of the whole thing is that um, after she murders her husband, immediately when she's caught, when the cops walk into the house and catch her there, um, she shoots her husband five times in the face. And um, when they go in there and whatever, immediately she takes this vow of silence. She says nothing after that. So the book follows this. Um, it's written on behalf of the, the, the... We follow the story of the psychotherapist who is hired to work in the institution that Alicia is in. And he knows about her and he he's heard about her story, of course, in the news and all of that. And, um, you know, he vows to, you know, help treat her and help her to get talking again and to, you know, maybe potentially, you know, just explain what happened and blah, blah, blah. Just help her and help heal her. And it's crazy. The twist at the end of this book is the, the most sickening thing. It's the most sickening thing. But it's really, really great. Um, yeah. Got a lot of twists, turns, curves, things, but really, really nice. Um, and then I really highly recommend that book. I will talk more about it when I do my book review, so I don't want to talk too much about it now. Um, the second book that I read is this one by Sally Rooney, Normal People. <clears throat> Extremely frustrating to read. Um, wasn't great. It was just literally for me a very meh book. Um, this one follows the lives of two um, two people, a woman and a man, and it follows the story of Marianne and Connell and uh, the relationship they develop among to, with one another over the years. And yeah, Marianne comes from a very wealthy, affluent background, and Connell comes from a rather I don't know if I would say middle class or even maybe slightly lower than that. Um, they know each other because they go to the same school. So it follows their life over the end of sort of high school and college, varsity life. I feel like this is a very young adult book, which again is typically not something that I would read. Uh, I didn't know that until before I started reading this book. Um, but yeah, it follows their life and them having, you know, a relationship on and off for over all those years. And, um, you know, just it tackles things, you know, to do with social identity. There is also some triggering material in the book in terms of abuse and all of that. Um, for me, typically not something that I... Would I recommend it to someone? Sure. If you want a really light read, I mean, it's only got... How many pages? 266 pages. You can literally knock this out in a weekend. Um... Not bad, not bad, but mm, not too crazy about it. I am, however, crazy about the ones that are hidden in here. Picked up some books from Exclusive today. One of the books that I picked up is a very well-known book, pretty much one of the books that's put on the map, 
This is a book by Tony Tony Morrison called Beloved. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, quite a few people have heard about this book. Um, definitely can't wait to read this. I'm not going to tell you what they're all about, but. One thing that I can tell you is that the books that I pick up are books that I've read about before. So I've heard about or have been recommendations by other uh, uh, book YouTubers or whatever. You know, it's not just books that I just randomly on a whim, oh, nice cover, pick up. No, not really. No, no, no. And then one of the ones that I'm really, really excited about is this one. The other one I couldn't find and I'm waiting for my brother to buy it for me. Still waiting. Um, this is by Karen Slaughter, The Good Daughter. I'm currently waiting for Pretty Girls, but this is The Good Daughter. Also another um, thriller and sort of crime story. And yeah, this one is going to, whoa, what's the light doing? This one is, I'm really looking forward to reading. This might keep me busy. It's quite a thick book. It might keep me busy for some time. And oop, oop, slips, prices. And uh, definitely another one that I can't wait to read because they've made this one into a movie. And this is by AJ Finn and it's called The Woman in the Window. Again, another thriller. Even the, the, the gent that works at Exclusive Books, I wanted to pick it up and then he said to me, and then I thought, nah, let me put it down. And then he said, no, 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 take that book. It's a really, really good book. If, if you want to take it, take it. And so I took it. Um, I mean, Gillian Flynn, if you know who Gillian Flynn is, she's the author behind Gone Girl. Uh, she said it's astounding, thrilling, and amazing. So definitely can't wait to read this one as well. But the one that I'm most anticipating reading, and this is the last one, this is Hunger by Roxane Gay. And uh, Roxane Gay is a feminist writer. And this book essentially talks about her, it's like a memoir of hers, and um, but a memoir of her exploring her body. So this is really, really, really interesting. I mean, this one part says, I ate and ate and ate in the hopes that if I made myself big, my body would be safe. I buried the girl I was because she ran into all kinds of trouble. I tried to erase every memory of her, but she is still there somewhere. I mean... Are you kidding me? So that's that's what this cover looks like. So yeah, those those are pretty much the books that I have picked up. Can't wait to start reading them. Um, and yeah, recommendations on the Silent Patient definitely get it, get it. And um, Sally Rooney, sure. I mean, if you want to call it a YA contemporary romance if you want to call it that cool you know but for me it wasn't the best um but these are bound to keep me busy for some time definitely um yeah okay that's it for this vlog that's it for this vlog uh i'm gonna go and probably edit this right now and probably then start reading later on tonight and i'll see you in the next video okay bye